my top 5 amazing freelancing tips just for you let's get started Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for Simple Snippets and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about five amazing freelancing tips just for you so I've been getting a lot of questions about how to go about freelancing what is freelancing how to start off and how to get your very first project especially if you're a beginner in computer science or information technology so in this video I'm going to be giving you five amazing tips which I believe I have followed throughout my freelancing time and this will surely help you especially if you're a beginner especially if you're a IT or computer science student So let's get started. So the first tip is just start man just start. Now hearing this you'll be like wow then my wow what a amazing tip just start. We didn't know about this yeah. So just just hear me out before you actually hit in the comments and write all those hate comments just hear me out. Let me explain what I mean by just start. So when I say just start what I'm trying to say is even if you're a beginner it is not important that you are master of particular technology if you're getting into it let's take an example of web development even if you have very basics of web development let's say you just uh, studied basics of html css and javascript and if you're wondering whether you are not ready enough whether you're not perfect enough whether you are not mastered that particular technology or language then i'm really going to tell you one thing that if you're going to be running behind perfection at a very beginners level then you'll never start freelancing you'll always be under confident and thinking that okay i'm not really sure i'm not really prepared and that thought will procrastinate your freelancing so what i'm trying to say is just start off with whatever knowledge you have and then you can build on top of it so to clear this out let me give you my example itself when i first started off my first project was a portfolio website for a fashion designer and i and my friend had approached him so he came in via some contact and uh, he wanted a portfolio website wherein he was going to be uploading this uh, photo shoot images every week every month and it was a dynamic website and we did not know anything about dynamic website so after our bachelors we had started off with a little bit of web development so we learned a little bit of html little bit of css javascript just by youtubing just by googling and we were confident enough that we can build a static portfolio website but we did not know how to go about a dynamic website wherein the user is going to put a lot of content every week right so what we did is we literally took that order we we i guess charged him around 5000 rupees money was not our primary criteria back then and what we did is we came home and we googled out and we came across this concept of wordpress so wordpress is a content management system and i'm not going to get into a lot of detail but basically what it does is it gives you a dynamic template wherein you can drag and drop pages drag and drop posts and create dynamic stuff okay so it's built on top of php and we started learning php a little bit because we did not have it in our curriculum and we got the basics we learned wordpress we literally took that order before even like being sure that whether we can do it or not you know we just did it and then after we learned wordpress we actually made that website we deployed it and it worked out pretty well so when i say just do it i literally mean you don't have to be an expert in any kind of domain so this was just web development let's say you're getting into software or android app development or anything you know you don't have to be an expert you just need to start so yeah that was tip number 1 just start Let's move on to tip number 2. Now tip number 2 is to start off with your contacts. So now you are all hyped up, you are all pumped up, you are like okay I'm going to start, I'm going to start and you are all excited about this but you are like okay so where do I get my first contact? Where do I get my first business? Where do I get my first freelance order, right? So the best way to start off is to start off from your contacts, from your family, from your friends, from your mutual friends and long distance family members, whoever have a business Now the reason why you should start off with your family and your friends is because the level of risk is low you know so when you're approaching a random person the risk of you making a mistake in the project is very high you know the stakes are high so let's say if your relative or your uncle is having a business your uncle is a chartered accountant this is just an example let's say he is a chartered accountant and he has his own firm you can approach him and you can tell him that you're into web development and you want to develop a website for his firm and that you'll take so and so amount of time and probably you want to charge or not i would not recommend that you charge for the first time maybe especially if he or she is your family member but then you can do it if you feel i'm not saying that you should not charge but yeah the stakes will be very less you know the risk will be very less because he or she is your family member or he or she is your friend right so even if you make a mistake even if the time gets delayed you can still get off easily you know if you're doing it for a stranger then you can get into some trouble right 
so the best way to start off is to start off with your friends and trust me guys a lot of your friends a lot of your family members definitely must be having some kind of business for which you can develop a software for which you can develop an application for which you can develop a website and what not you know so it can be pretty much everything and anything so yes start off with your contacts that's the tip number 2 let's move on to the next tip tip number 3 tip number 3 is you need to team up you need to collaborate you need to partner up so now you are pumped up you are excited you are ready to make your first move into the freelancing world and you've also figured out that you're going to be starting off with your contacts with your relatives or maybe your own parents business let's say but now you are wondering okay you still lack that little bit of confidence so the best way to overcome that is to partner up with some of your friend who is like minded so let's say you want to get into web development and you want to develop a website for your own family let's say your dad or mom has some business and you want to develop a website for that um let's take an example of let's say your mom or dad is a dentist or a doctor and he or she has her own clinic so you want to develop a website for that clinic you know so what you can do is you can approach your friend who is also into web development and you can tell him that hey man you know what i'm trying to develop this website let's do it together and the biggest advantage of this is that you will have one more smart mind working on the project you know so when you have one more or more than one minds working on a project there is a lot of knowledge transfer that is happening between the two so let's see you are stuck at some module maybe your friend can resolve that and vice versa you know maybe he or she is stuck at some problem and you can resolve it so the speed of the development of project increases and the success rate also increases and you learn a lot from your friends and one more amazing thing that you learn is you learn how to perform team work you know so when you are actually completing your educational career and when you start off with your corporate career you are going to be working in teams right that's obvious because it's not about individuals it's about team when you work in a corporate environment and the best example and the best experience that you can get is by freelancing and by collaborating with others so teaming up is really really important it will also boost your confidence because then you can divide the risk you can divide the work among members of your partners and that will give you a little bit more confidence so that's tip number 3 moving on to tip number 4 tip number 4 is sort of something that is not really essential but it will definitely help you when you want to outgrow your business when you want to outgrow your freelancing projects and the tip number 4 is to get social when i say get social what i mean is you need to be little bit active on digital media that is the social media platforms you need to create a facebook page you need to create an instagram page you need to create a small blog or website if you want but i would really recommend this because creating this social media pages will help you grow more than your friends more than your family right it will help you reach out the entire world and i have noticed that there is a lot of negativity at times when it comes to social media people say that you get addicted to facebook you get addicted to instagram but you know what the irony is the people who complain about all these social media platforms are also complaining on these social media platform itself right so instead of talking negative about all these social media platforms how about you try to utilize it you know so even youtube is a social media platform where i make this informational videos you watch a lot of informational content you get a lot of knowledge on social media actually so you need to use it positively for your benefit in a positive way and not take it negatively so yes being social is very important you might get your next project next freelance order right from the social media platforms as you move ahead you know so once you've exhausted your list of contacts once you've exhausted all the list of family members you can actually go social you can promote your pages promote your work online and that will really help you a lot and creating a digital identity on social media creating a website creating a blog creating a page gives it a professional look and you can showcase your work there also so this was step number 4 let's move on to the last step now the last step is sort of like my personal opinion personal advice personal suggestion it's not exactly a tip but it will surely help you if you are a beginner now the tip is you need to be jack of all and king of none so what do i mean by jack of all and king of none so when you are starting off with your freelance career i am assuming that you are a college student you are a it student and you haven't really got into the corporate world so you don't have a lot of experience so when this is the case i would suggest you guys that you try out a lot of different technologies rather than sticking to one particular technology okay so let's say you want to become a master of php and you're like okay i'm going to do web development and i'm only going to stick to php but you know that technology keeps on changing a lot of things become obsolete outdated and new new technologies keep on coming right so what if php gets outdated what are you going to do right so instead of that how about you first start off with php then try a little bit of asp.net as well then get into javascript so this was for web development let's let's say maybe you hop into android development mobile apps 
let's say you hop into software development c sharp or java software apps and what not you know you need to diversify yourself and you need to be having knowledge about each and everything little bit at least at least at the fundamentals so what i'm trying to say is you don't have to be a master of one particular technology at least at a beginners level but you need to know a lot of things at least at their fundamental level so this reduces the risk what if tomorrow one thing gets outdated you can easily switch to another thing right and it's always good to have a lot of knowledge so after you complete your college you will be getting into corporate scenarios and in that you will be obviously working on one particular technology right so it is always good to have a lot of technology background that is a variety of technology of background so because then you can make a switch between your jobs also easily right if you have worked on different technologies you can easily make that switch so this is always advisable and it's not necessary you can always master one particular technology but at a beginners level i would not suggest that because personally i never did that so what i did is i started off with web development with php then i shifted to little bit of asp i also did software development windows form application development using c sharp i was not into java much but later on i also moved on to android app development so mobile app development was under my hood so a lot of things i have tried out and i'm not going to say that i'm going to be a master of one particular thing i'm still not actually but i do know a lot of things at a basic level at a fundamental level so that i can always switch between them depending upon what technology is relevant so yeah these were my five tips for starting off with freelancing i hope these were very informational to you if you feel that this video is helpful for you do share it with your friends maybe it will help them also definitely share it with anyone who wants to get into freelancing but does not have that confidence and need some important tips these really are very helpful for beginners because these are tried and tested by me myself these are my personal opinions i'm pretty sure these will help you a lot and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments how this video was if you have any suggestions on freelancing if you have any queries you can always put them in the comments you can ask me on social media like instagram or facebook i'm pretty active i respond to almost all of your comments so let me know in the comments how this video was if you need any more such kind of videos if you need any more tips if you need any elaboration do let me know i'll pretty much try to answer them all so that's it for this video guys this is tanmay sakpal signing off for simple snippets and i'll see you guys in the next video peace